Hello, sports fans and football fans. I'm back with the the uh, Sportsman Z Football League. Um, as you recall, I did a uh, like a draft of different teams from different eras, put them all in one league, and now we have uh, we are through game eight of twelve uh, games that will be played. And as you might also recall, I was taking both the Chicago Bears. I got my Bears shirt on and the Birmingham Stallions at various times. This week I am going to play the Stallions. Now I have I quick played a few games, couple pl quick played a couple games. One of them the Stallions actually played Chicago, so I would have had to play for both teams and that wouldn't have really been fair and then uh one of them wasn't that great of a matchup. But you can see now we are taking on, right now, we're taking on the uh, Philadelphia, no, no, we're not taking on, we're taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers, the 1977 Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, here are the conferences so far and the records. Birmingham is winning the NFC conference with a 5-3 and three record. And the Pittsburgh Steelers of 1977 are a surprisingly disappointing 4-4. Four and four. They've only scored 95 points and allowed 155. The Stallions have a one-game lead on the Bears, but really it's more than that because they just beat the Bears 17-14, and they've scored 159, allowed 147. Uh, if we look at the teams, um, go to the Birmingham Team Notebook, they were actually 14-4, and four, so they are having a rough go of it with this combination of teams that are in this league with them. Uh, but their run defense is good to excellent, and their pass is average to poor. So they're not very good against on, on pass defense. The Steelers, as you might expect, were very good in real life, but they aren't right now. Uh, if we go to the notebook, you see that they were 9-5, and five, um, which really they could still pull that off or something similar to that um, relative to a 12-game uh, league. But they are good to excellent against the run and good against the pass. So not even really quite as good as I would have expected them to be. So we are going to get on with this uh, week, and we're going to play the Birmingham game. Um, we will put the, all right, the Birmingham game is on manual. We will put the Chicago game to autoplay. They are playing the Boston Patriots, who are 0-8 right now. I didn't think you wanted to see me beat up on an 0-8 team. So we will play one week, and then that should give us, uh, that should light off the uh, game for Birmingham at Pittsburgh. I believe we are on the road. And we are going to, um, we're just going to launch the game. And yes, we are at Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh is kicking off to us. They have deferred, so they're kicking off to our Birmingham Stallions of 1984. Who, again, were a very good team. Uh, this return is terrible, though. And we fumbled, but it looks like we're going to recover it. You know what? I'm going to pick it up and run with it anyway. No, it doesn't work. It doesn't go anywhere. All right. I'm going to put myself down here, and then we will continue. And um, for uh, for us offensively, you've got um, split end Jim Smith. On the line, you have the left tackle, Robert Woods. At guard, you got Buddy I Idolette. At center, you've got Tom Banks. Right guard is Mark Battaglia. Uh, right tackle is Pat Phoenix. The tight end is Daryl Mason. You got Joey Jones out at a flanker. Cliff Stout is the quarterback. He had a 57.9 completion percentage in the USFL that week or that year. <laughs> uh, and an interception percentage of only 1.9. Not too bad. Um, and then you've got uh, Leon Perry at fullback and Joe Cribs at running back. So you can tell what we're going to be doing. We are going out of the pro set and we're going to go off tackle with Cribs. 
and he gets caught in the backfield. It looks like, anyway. I, I don't know if he got... Oh, wait a minute. What happened there? All right, I'm going to go end run with Cribs. No, it is second and ten. He didn't get any yards. And he got a few yards there. So, we have a third and seven, and I am going to go look in pass to the split end. And he does catch it for a first down. Nice. So, we've got a first and ten at um, our own 28, and I'm going to go line buck with Perry, the fullback. And he gets a couple yards there. Uh, yeah, three. Got three yards. So we've got a second and seven. I'm going to go end run with Cribs. And he only gets maybe a yard. Yeah, he gets a yard. So it's third and six again. I'm. You know what? I'm going to go draw a play with Cribs. And there is a penalty on the play. Let's hope it's on the Steelers. It is, and we will accept it. So we got a first and ten now at midfield. And I'm going to go off tackle with Perry, the fullback. Oh, he's going to get caught way in the backfield. He loses two yards, and we're going to go... Let's go short to the flanker. Because I've established a pattern of running... Whoa, he got sacked! Stout is sacked! All right, so we got a third and 17 now. We're going to go short to the wide receiver and he catches it and he got some yards but we still have a fourth and seven and so we will punt there is 10 minutes left in the first quarter of this game All right, so let's look at the Steeler offense and our defense. Uh, on offense, they got Lynn Swan at flanker. Benny Cunningham was a great tight end at tight end. Uh, right tackle, Larry A. Brown. Right guard, Jim Clack. The center, of course, Mike Webster. Left guard, Sam Davis. Left tackle, John Kolb. Stallworth out at the uh, split end position. Terry Bradshaw, of course, at quarterback. He only had a 51.6 completion percentage in 1977. And then you got Rocky Blyer at uh, halfback. And the fullback is Franco Harris. And we are going to look for the run. And we're going to key on... I'm going to... No, oh, I already keyed on him. All right, so I can't change it. They don't let me change it. But it is Franco Harris. But we were looking for the run, so that helped, probably. Second and eight. I am going to look for the run. Bradshaw was not that good at passing. I'm going to say it, Hall of Famer Terry Bradshaw. But he completed it to Swan, so he was there. There, he was very good at passing. I'm still looking run. They've got to be a run-heavy offense, you got to think. And there's a uh, penalty on the play. And it looks like it'll be on them. Yes, it will. So they got a, well, I guess, yeah, first and ten, I suppose. I'm going to look for the pass. Oh, we're offsides. So they get a first and five. Um, I am going to look for the run. And they run the ball with Franco Harris. Remember, coming into this game, the Steelers are only one game worse than the Stallions. I'm going to look for the run on second and three. And they do run the ball, and we do get him in the backfield. And so now they have a third and three. I am, you know what? Oh, God, I'm going to go balanced. I got to go balanced. They pass it, and it is intercepted. And I'm going to try to get some yards because this is the Steelers. This is no joke team. But we do pick off uh, Bradshaw. I am going to go line buck with the fullback, Perry. 
And he gets a lot of yards, man. He Yeah, he got a nice little breakaway run there for 15 yards. We've got a first and 10 at our own 39. I'm going to go draw play with Cribs. And uh, he gets some he gets some decent yards. It's second and seven. Second and seven, I'll take it. I'm gonna go flat pass though to the flanker. 545 left in the first quarter, and I think that was completed for four yards. Yes. We got a third and three. Let's go draw play with Cribs. I'm playing for the fourth down here. But we don't have to because Cribs broke it off and uh, broke it open and got a little bit more even than what we needed for the first. Um, I'm going to go off tackle with Perry. 4.55 left, and he gets caught, looks like, in the backfield, or at least at the line. No gain, yeah. Second and 10 at the Pittsburgh 47. Let's open it up and go short to the flanker. And it is going to be complete for a first down and a lot more. And that is the that is the advantage of not passing very much. The team isn't going to look for it. Let's go line buck fullback. And he looks like he gets back to the line. No, he got, well, he got one yard. So we've got a second and nine at the Pittsburgh 26. I'm going to go off tackle with Cribs. And he gets a few yards. And we got a third and five. Third and five, let's go flat to the, to the tight end. Let's go flat to Mason. And that's going to be incomplete. So we've got to try to kick a field goal, I'm going to guess. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to kick the field goal with Miller. And he is going to miss it. I had a, a feeling in my bones that he was going to miss the kick. So we have uh, Pittsburgh has a first and 10 at the 22, and I am going to look for the pass on first down. And he is passing. So it is incomplete, and I'm going to look for the run. I got a real strong feeling he's going to run the ball here. And he does, and we do get him pretty quickly for after two yards. Third and eight. And I'm going to look for the pass. You're definitely looking for the pass on third and eight. And uh, he meets him. I think he might have caught it. Yeah, he did catch it for two yards, but they got a punt. And we will put in the punt return. 43 or 49, 49 seconds left in the first quarter in a 0-0 game between the 1984 um Birmingham Stallions, who I am running, and the 1977 Pittsburgh Steelers. And we get the ball almost to midfield. It's going to be a first and 10 for us on our own 49. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to air it out on first down. We're going to go long to the split end. Let's see if we can catch Pittsburgh napping on this. And we can! And it might even go for a touchdown! It just might. Yeah, they were totally fooled on that, and we got a touchdown, and it's 7-0 Birmingham. Just like that, with 11 seconds left in the first quarter. And we're going to kick the field goal, or the extra point. And just like that, it's 7-0, and we're kicking off. Birmingham again they're winning their division now the Bears are playing the uh, the Bears are a game worse but they're playing the uh, like 1968 Patriots this game this uh, week so they're probably going to win I'm going to put in the pass defense they're probably going to win and so Birmingham would want to stay ahead of them and they really would be even if they lost and Chicago won because Birmingham beat Chicago uh, last week. But you would want to get a clear, like, you know, win in the win column ahead of them. Second and eight, I am going to look for the run again from Pittsburgh. 
and not well it's, um oh we're gonna sack bradshaw nice so it's going to be a third and 16 for them we're definitely you know what i am going to pass and double team stallworth and oh we're off sides that's good they're going to call a penalty on that it still won't be a first down but they won't have as bad yeah third and 11. i am still going to double i'm going to pass and double team um let's go swan this time because they saw that I was going to double team Stallworth. Oh! They ran the ball and got a first down. They got 12 yards on that bad boy. 13. 13 yards. All right, we're going to look for the run. I can't believe that they snuckered me and got the yardage that they needed. But we broke up the pass on first down, so it's a second and 10. I'm still going to look for the run. There is 12.18 left in the second quarter, or first half, whichever you would prefer. And we do um, get Swan, but after he gets a first down. So they've, they've got a first down at R24, Pittsburgh does. I'm going to put in the balanced. And uh, Blyer running the ball. We get Blyer, but he gets four yards before we get him. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put in the run. And he is going to be held up there. By the way, um, I want to go over the Birmingham defense because I know I forgot to do that. At left end, you got Dave Purifoy. At nose tackle, you got Jackie Klein. At uh, right end, you got Mike Perko. The linebackers are Taft Sales. Uh, Bill P Bill Rowe and uh, Herbie Spencer, and then in the back, the defensive backfield, you've got Dennis Woodbury, David Evans, Chuck Clanton, Robert Gentry, and Ricky Ray. So I wanted to make sure we did that. I'm going to look for the pass on third and five. And they run the ball, and we do stop him. So he's going to have to kick a field goal. Fourth and three. He'll kick the field goal. I'm going to put in kick block. And he misses it. Roy Jarella misses a, like, chip shot uh, field goal. So we've got it first and ten at our own 20. I'm going to go line buck with Gant. And they're going to be offside, so I got a free play here. I'm going to accept the penalty because we didn't get anything on that. So we got a first and five at our 25. I'm going to go off tackle with Johnson. And he is not going to get Jack Diddley. We've got a second and six. Let's go flat to the tight end, Mason. And there's a penalty on the play. Who was that on? I'm going to accept the penalty going to always accept it when I don't get hardly any yards. Got a first and 10, 840 left in the half. We're winning 7 nothing, and we've got a first and 10 at our own 40. And I am going to go off tackle with Gant. And there's going to be another penalty. This is a penalty-ridden game, and that one was on us. We got a first and 20. Let's go look in pass to the split end. I don't know if they were ready for this, and let's see what we can get out of it. And we get some yards, but it's still second and 15. Uh, let's go flat to the tight end, Mason. And there's another penalty. This is really a very sloppily played game, I gotta say. We got some yards, but I'm going to, let's see, I'm yeah, first down. I'm going to take the penalty. We've got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 43. Let's go line buck with Gant. I mean, we're just, I mean, they're helping us keep the keep possession of the ball. There's 728 left in the half. Uh, let's go look in pass to the flanker on second and 10. And that's going to be incomplete. It looks like he was trying to hit cribs with it. Third and 10. Uh, let's go short to the tight end. Probably could pass the cribs, and I should do the, a little bit more of that. 
like as the intended receiver. He misses Jones, though, so we've got a fourth and ten. We're going to punt the ball away from our own, or from Pittsburgh's 43 line of scrimmage. So this should hem Pittsburgh up pretty deep. And it does, and there's a fumble, and we're going to have it. I'm going to pick it up and run with it. And, ooh, it got it to the one. We got it to the one on the fumble, on the muffed punt. All right. We're going to go line buck with Perry. See if he can get the touchdown. No, he can't. He got no yards. We're going to go line buck with Cribs. And he does get it. All right, Cribs got it. So we're up 14 nothing over the 77 Steelers. Going to kick that extra point. Let's hope Miller can at least make the extra point, and he does, and he did the last one too, but he missed a field goal. And that gives us a 14 nothing lead. They will get the ball to lead up to start the uh, second half, so we will have to kick off to them in the second half. But there's still 5.06 left in this half, and here comes Smith with a nice return for the Steelers. All right, now they're down. Uh, I'm going to start with a balanced. Let's see what that does. Uh, not much. We do stop him before the first down, but he got six yards. Uh, I'm going to look for the run. And he does run the ball. And we do stop him after only two yards. He's got a third and two. I'm going to go run and key on Blyer. And, oh, we're offsides. Too bad, too, because we stopped that play. Oh, wait, it was him. He was offside, so he's got a first and... No, wait, was it? I don't know. I think it was us, though. So, um, he's got the ball. I'm going to look for the run, first and ten at midfield for him. He's passing. But we've intercepted Bradshaw, and we've stopped him. Uh, we, we, um, they missed a field goal. I'm going to put in the balance defense first and 10 from, uh, from our 40. And now they've got a second and 10 from our 40, 246 left. I'm going to put in the pass. There's a penalty again. And this is on us or no, it's on them. It's on them. So they've got a second and 15. I'm going to put in the pass, and they are passing, and they do complete it for 11 yards, or for 16 yards, 16 yards. They got a first and 10 at our 29, two minutes left. Um, I'm going to do an all-out blitz. Let's see how he handles a blitz. Um, pretty well, although... They only got one yard, two yards on that. So I'm going to look for the run on second and eight. And uh, this is Bradshaw. And we're going to get Brad, or well, maybe we're going to get Bradshaw. We should. He's running out of, he tried to get out of bounds. I don't think he did, though. Third and eight with a minute 37 left. Um, and I am going to look for the pass. I mean, if Jarella missed the chip shot he had before, this is certainly not a gimme. And I'm going to put in kick block. And this time it looks like maybe he made it, unless it falls short. But, now nah, he made it. So it's going to be 14-3 Pittsburgh uh, with a minute left. They'll kick off to us, but I don't think we have the kind of high-powered offense that we need to get down the field in less than a minute. Well, I don't know. I mean, now, who knows? Let's go short to the split end. And he does not even catch it. Um, let's go short to the... Let's go short... You know what? Let's go short to Cribs. And there's, somebody's got it. Somebody's got it, and they're heading out of bounds with it, and they I don't think they made it. And we're going to call a timeout. Um, we have it third and three, 
at our own 48. I'm going to go short to the split end. And that's going to be an out, that pass is out of bounds. It's fourth and three. Yeah, I'm going to punt the ball. You don't want to give it to them right there, right in our own territory. Because even with a few seconds left, there's a possibility that he could do something with it. And he could muff the punt like he did last time, but he didn't. And I'm going to look for the pass. He's got to try to get down the field quickly, 15 seconds. Do we pick this off? No. It's over everybody's head. I'm going to go look for the pass. Eight seconds left. And we are going to stop him. And there's one second left. I'm going to look for the pass. And they're obviously going deep. And it's incomplete. And that should be it. And it is. So before we kick off, let's take a look at the box score at halftime. Cliff Stout is 9 of 14, 112 yards and a touchdown with a 112.8 passer rating. Bradshaw is 6 of 12 for 95 yards and an interception, only a 42 uh, passer rating. Cribs has 8 rushes for 22 yards for us. Leon Perry has 6 for 17. Franco Harris has 10 for 34. Rocky Blyer has 3 for 10. Bradshaw has 2 for negative 8. And then we'll look at some of the receiving stats. You can take a look at these guys really quickly. Um, Danny Miller, our kicker, missed a field goal, but he got both extra points. Bob Parsons, the punter for, um, for Birmingham, you might remember he was on Chicago. I think he was a punter for Chicago at one time. So we will kick off to them because they deferred to the second half. We're winning by 11. They let the ball go into the end zone for a touchback. Bradshaw is already gassed. I'm going to put in the uh, balanced. And we stop it really quickly. Two-yard gain for him. Um, I'm going to put in the run key on Blyer. And they're offside, so, or a false start. So it's going to be second and 13. I'm just going to look, I'm just going to do the general looking for the run. And there is another penalty. This is a very sloppily played game. I'm going to say by both teams. Um, but hopefully this is on them. I'm going to accept the penalty. We're going to keep backing them up. So now he's got a second and 21 from his own nine. I'm going to, I'm going to look for the run. And uh, Bradshaw's back to pass. And he misses, thankfully, he misses his target. So it's third and 21. I'm going to pass. I'm going to look for the pass. And I'm going to double team Swan. And he runs, and he runs right into the uh, nose tackle. So now they got a fourth and 21. They're going to punt the ball from their own end zone. That should give us good field position with 12.56 left in the third quarter. I am going to try to run with it. And uh, that was a great decision because we got some yards. There is a penalty uh, Pittsburgh ball, if I accept the penalty, it's Pittsburgh ball on their five with a fourth and 25 to go. Decline, it's our ball on the Pittsburgh 36. I'm going to decline the penalty because I like where we are. We're going to go line buck with the fullback. I mean, knocking him back another few yards, um, that might have helped our field position. Uh, 12.06 left in the third quarter. We're up 14-3 over the 77 Steelers. We got a second and four. I am going to go draw play with Cribs. Good thing is these guys are rested after the half, but Cribs got, um, he lost two yards there. Now we got a third and six. I'm going to go flat to the split end. 
And that's going to be completed. Now I got a decision to make because I have a fourth and one. You know what? It, this isn't really much of a decision because Miller sucks. So I'm going to go pro set. And we're going to go line buck with cribs. Oh, he, they got him. They got him in the backfield for a, a one-yard loss. And now they will take over. Bradshaw's gassed. There's 10.33 left in the third quarter. I am going to look for the run. Especially with Bradshaw being gashed, you got to believe even if he tries to pass, he's going to be even less than 50%. Did they complete that? Incomplete, no. So, second and 10, I am going to look for the run. I'm going to look for the run again. He's down by 11, but, I mean, Bradshaw's not that... go. Oh, he is there, though. He completed that. First and 10 at their 39. I'm going to put in the balanced... And Bradshaw's passing, and they got, they did catch the ball for two yards, Swan did. Second and eight, I'm going to put in the run. I think right, uh, right about now you got to run, and he does. And we were ready for it, but we still let him get five yards. But it's third and three, I am going to look for the run. You got to run the ball. Yeah, he does. And we stopped him just short of the first down. Is he going to go for it? No, he's going to punt. So I'm going to put in the punt return. Still, we should have, we're going to have bad field position because he did get some yards. I am going to try to run it. And he doesn't go anywhere. So we've got a first and 10 at our own 13. 726 left in the third quarter. I'm going to go flat to Cribs. And Cribs catches it, and he gets some yards, too. Second and five. I'm going to go draw play with Perry. And he's going to get a couple yards, looks like one yard. He got one yard. We've got a third and four. I'm going line buck with Cribs. Oh, they got him. You know, if we'd gotten even a couple of yards there, I might have thought about going for it, but now I'm not. I'm going to punt the ball away. 534 left in the third quarter. We're winning 14-3, so we have a uh, two-score lead. And he's going to let the ball drop, and he'll have it first and 10 at his own 42. Uh, and I'm going to look for the pass. And he is passing. It, this is not really their strong suit, so I don't know why they keep doing this. But I'm going to look balanced on second and ten. They do run the ball. And we get them pretty quickly. Two yards. And so, um, with 4.05 left in the third, he's got a third and ten at his own 42. And I'm looking pass. I'm not going to double team anybody. I'm just going to look for the pass. I think that's the safest maneuver. And we stop him right before the first down. He's got to punt again. And with a fourth and three, I was pretty confident he was going to punt. Walden gets the punt off. We're going to let it drop, it looks like. And, uh, well, it's going to be a touchback. No. Maybe there was a penalty on that. So we're going to do the punt return. I don't know. He, he's just re... Oh! He did a fake punt. So we got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 49. I don't know what happened there, though, because it looked like the first... At first, they actually punted the ball. and um, But there was no penalty indicated, and it was the same down in yardage. I don't know what happened. But when they when they replayed it, they tried to go for the uh, the fake punt, and it did, they didn't get it. We've got a second and 10 at the Pittsburgh 49. I'm going to go short to the split end. Uh, Stout is out on his own, but he's going to evade some runners. There's some tacklers, and he gets like um, nine yards there or whatever to get us to third and one. I'm going line buck with Perry. 
Uh, he ain't going to make it out of the backfield. No. But it's fourth and two. I am going to... I'm going to go blocking back, and we're going to go line buck with Perry. Ah, he ain't going to make it. He ain't going to make it. So he's got a first. Uh, Pittsburgh has first and 10 at their own 42. I should have probably tried a flat pass or something. I'm going to look for the run on first down. And he does run the ball, and we get him because he's doing that. Second and 11 now for him. I'm going to look for the pass because they've got to start passing the ball. It's getting late. There's only 15 seconds left in the third quarter. And that's incomplete to Swan. And so now third and 11, I'm going to put in the pass and I'm going to double team uh, Stallworth because he just went to Swan. So the game probably is going to frown upon him going to Swan again. And Lewis catches it, but I do hem him up. And so he's got a fourth and six, 1442 left in the game. And I'm going to put in the punt return. And, uh, I'm going to run with it. I mean, you know, we're, we're playing with house money, really. And this Pittsburgh offense really can't do anything anyway. I'm going end run with Cribs. He cuts through the line he, and he gets some yards. Um, you know, let's see here. Birmingham ball on the 32 if I accept. Well, hell, I'm going to do that for sure. So we got a first and 10 at our 32. I'm going to go line buck with Perry. Admiral Perry. And he gets caught in the backfield for a uh, no gain. Second and 10, we're going to go flat, flat to Cribs. I get criticized for not passing enough to the backs, so we're doing that. But now it's third and 10, we got to go short, short to Mason, the tight end. And it's going to be good for a first down and a lot more. Nice. We've got a first and 10 now at the Pittsburgh 41, and we're going to go off tackle with Cribs. And he gets two yards there, three, gets three. Second and seven at the Pittsburgh 38. I'm going to go line buck with Perry. I mean, now it's just eat the clock, because really, he can't do anything offensively, and there's only 11.31 left in the game. We've got a third and four. I'm going to go flat to the flanker. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, we are not going to um, kick. You know what? No, I'm going to punt. I am going to punt. We'll put in the punt formation and we're going to go coffin corner. I mean, might as well, you know. Just the sheer distance he's going to have to travel. It's going to make this hard. He catches it, though, and he gets it out to the 19. So he's got a first and 10 at his 19-yard line. Um, 10.55 left. I am going to look for the pass. I mean, now it's really getting late. And Bradshaw has the ball, and he's out on the run bootlegging it and getting a lot of yards, too. He got eight yards, so uh, at second and eight, I'm going to look for the run. Or second and two. Or, well, they got eight yards. He does run the ball, but he gets the first down. So it's first and ten from the 30. I'm going to go back to looking for the pass from the Pittsburgh 30 for Pittsburgh. And that looks like it'll be incomplete, and it is. And so now he's got a second and ten. I am looking for the pass. Now we're just pinning our ears back and looking for the pass. If you want to run the ball, go ahead and run the ball because we have a good run defense and uh, there's not a lot of time left and you've proven you can't really move the ball very well. And that's incomplete. So he's got a fourth and eight and he is going to punt the ball. If he doesn't do the fake punt, which he tried and it didn't work. 
826 left in the game. And I am going to try to catch it and run with it, and uh, it doesn't go anywhere. So we've got a first and 10 at our own 27. I'm going to air this bad boy out, and we're going to go long to the flanker. Ooh, just off his fingertips, it looks like, or maybe just over his head. I don't know. Second and 10, we're going to go flat to the fullback, Perry. And that is Perry, and he gets the first down. First and 10 at the 37 for us. I'm going to go line buck with Cribs. 7-12 left. We got an 11-point lead, and he gets two yards. We've got a second and eight. I'm going to go line buck with Perry on second and eight. I mean, it doesn't really, scoring doesn't seem to like it's going to matter. It's just keep the ball as long as we can, punt the ball away, and then stop them. Third and six at the 41, I am going to go flat to the flanker. And that's going to be complete for a first down and a lot more. A lot more. Maybe even, no, it's not going to be. They finally do catch him. So we got a first and 10 at the 22 now, and we're going to go line buck with Perry. We are leaning heavily on Perry and Cribs, but especially Perry, really. He lost a yard, so it's second and 11. I'm going to go look in pass to Cribs. And Cribs catches it and gets some yards, too. It's going to be... It's still second and 11. I guess I don't know what happened there. So we're going to go line buck with the halfback. He follows the fullback up through the hole, and we have a third and seven. Let's go short pass to the flanker. Oh, they're offsides. So we got a free play here. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to take the play. I'll, uh, I'll decline the penalty and take the play. We've got a first and goal to six. Now we're going to go line buck with Perry. Oh, oh, we had a false start. God, the penalties in this game are ridiculous. First and goal from the 11. I am going to go off tackle with Cribs. We got a second and goal from the nine. I'm going to go short to the tight end. And that's going to be a touchdown, Mason, our tight end. The intended receiver caught the ball for a touchdown. And I'm going to kick the extra point, and it's going to be, I believe, 21, and it is 21 to 3. Now we're just, it's really just a matter of pin your ear back, pin your ears back and look for the pass because there's only 234 left in the game. So this was a pretty dominant performance by the Birmingham Stallions against the 77 Steelers. Of course, that's what, that'll happen when you try to mix like a USFL team into with other NFL teams. They give the appearance of being a better team but in real life, they probably really weren't. Um, but, you know, you have to make the Stallions relative to the USFL of 1984. But Stallworth catches a deep bomb. We're going to catch him. We'll catch up to him and stop him. And they've got a first and 10 at the 14. But, you know, still, he's not going to win this game. It's not like so. Oh! Yeah, fumble. I'm going to just drop on this one. I'm going to fall on the ball. So we've got a first and 10, and they even put our second string quarterback in. Um, we've got a first and 10 at our own 15. I'm going to go line buck with Talton. Yeah, he put all the backups in, which is fine. I I'm fine with that. Whoa, wait a minute. Talton is going to have to drop on the all right, so we got a second and 10. I'm going to go off tackle with Gant. 
And Gant has some carries in this game, actually. We got a third and seven. Let's see how good Lane is. We're going to do a short pass to the flanker. And he catches it for big yards. 22 seconds, maybe less than that. Nope, game over. Game over, friends. And that is going to be, let's see, let's look at uh, the uh, box score so we can get the final stats here. We win 21-3. We allowed Pittsburgh, the 1977 Steelers, to just have a field goal. Stout was 16 of 24 for 218 yards, two touchdowns, and a 123.3 passer rating. Lane was 1 of 1 for 15 yards. Uh, Bradshaw was only 11 of 22, 50%, which is basically par for the course for him. But that is it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.